CJ, what, um, what's the turnaround like for this Thursday night game now getting ready for the Colts? Um, so that, well, this week is mainly uh, mental preparation, you know, more than physical preparation. Um, coming off on a short week, uh, make sure guys, you know, regen, get their bodies, you know, close to 100% as possible. Uh, thankfully, we didn't have too many injuries um, besides the normal football bumps and bruises. So that was a good thing. But, you know, it's all about mental preparation in a short week. You know, you're trying to get, get the film study in, um, get the game plan in, um, just watch a lot of film and, you know, know our opponent inside out. EJ, now that you've had, what, 15, 16 hours to digest it, can you put into perspective what Mike White did yesterday? Um, honestly, I can. That was, you know, that was, um, that was a moment. That was a moment to remember, you know, you know for him, for the fans, you know, for our football team. Uh, he came in full confidence, um, nothing that we didn't expect because, you know, when, when he comes in, the scout team, when he comes in for the ones that practice, you know, he's making those type of plays. He's making those throws. He's throwing those those fouls in the um, in the deep coverage and the tight coverage. So, uh, what we saw out there was just a collect a collection of you know his hard work, his preparation, um, and you know a young man being ready when his name was called. So, you know he he performed and he did a great job. So, kudos to him. CJ, in a big picture here, I know you're just you know quickly off the win, but uh, had you lost yesterday, one and six is a pretty significant hole to climb out of. Uh, can you put into perspective? what yesterday's win did, not only because of who it was against, one of the better teams in the, in the conference, but just getting yourselves to two and five and maybe maybe trying to get some consistency a little bit. Yeah, so. um, consistency is one. Um, we're going to great, – great teams find a way to, to win two games in a row and keep it going. So that's that's really our next challenge to some, come back with a win. No, it doesn't have to be pretty. It doesn't have to be a blowout as long as it's a W. Um, but – for this win this past weekend, uh, I feel that it brought is bringing and it brought confidence, you know, to our team. Um, <clears throat> I just want, I want everybody to understand that, you no, know, it's all about our mindset. You know, um, doesn't doesn't matter who the team is, you know, what star players that they have. But when we when we step on the football field, when we come to work every day, we got to have the mindset that we're capable of winning every game that we play, and it gonna it, it takes all. All guys, everybody on the field, um, whether it's scout team, whether it's special teams, offense, defense, practice squad players, you know, every everything matters when when we go to work every day. So I think I think with this win and going out to a short week, we can uh, really we can really focus on you know what we what we did to get this victory going. That was play our type of football and not and not worry about you know who the opponent was. Just you know do what we have to do better. Right after the game, Robert Sala was saying to, say to us, because it's such a young team, you're going to have some weeks like last week, you know, mm -hmm. in New England, and you're going to have a, a game like yesterday where you look like a playoff team. Yeah. What is the secret to trying to kind of, you know, avoid those extreme highs and lows, so to speak? You know, you're a veteran. You've been you've been around winning teams for, for you know, most of your career. Um, I would say we have to we have to understand as a as a group, as a team, what it takes to win every game. I mean, obviously that's hard to do. Not <laughs> the only one team has done that, but just figuratively speaking, um, the, the process, the mental, the mental uh, preparation, uh, the physical preparation to get your bodies right for the game. And, um, and, and just, just, you know, being, being a pro, you know, as, as you know, the old saying in the league is, you know, just being a pro and, and understanding what your job is to help this team win. And, um, and I think with our core, with our core group, that's 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 the that's going to be our big step is and really changing this program around. Um, you know, the, our rookie guys, our two, third year, three year, fourth year uh, veteran guys, really, you know, taking ownership, um, leading, and you know, being ready to to produce every time they step on the field to you know help us win games. I'm not sure where you are in your um, your film study yet on the Colts how much you've done, but if you have done any, what has jumped out about Jonathan Taylor to you watching him? Or if you haven't done any, I'm sure you've seen him in highlights and stuff. What, what, what do you, what do you think of his game? Uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't um, look, looked at it yet. So that's, that's the thing. That's my, that's my routine for the day. You know, get my 24 hour rule then and get right back in the book. So next time, next time I talk to y'all, I'll make sure I give you, give you a, a little diagnosis. <laughs> Hey, CJ, it's Kim. Um, you're a veteran enough guy that I can ask you this. Do you think your coaches 
really needed that win like yesterday. I mean, I can elaborate if you need me to, but you had an offensive right. coordinator whose group hadn't scored in the first quarter. You had Ulrich essentially saying, you know, some of this stuff's not going to happen again. And you had Sala who, who seems to generally be upbeat, but it, it just felt like the whole group, including your coaching staff, probably needed yesterday to make. Uh, well, winning is contagious, just like losing is contagious. And everybody needed that win, no matter if it was on the field or not. If you if you represent the Jets, we needed that win. And we, we, we earned that win and we got that win. And it wasn't a fluke. It wasn't a fate. That was real. You know, we, when we was on the field, um, I can I can speak for our, for our team. Um, we, we knew we can play with them from, from the start to finish. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't flinch when we got down. We didn't flinch when we had turnovers. We didn't flinch when they made big plays. And, um, and that was real. So, like I, like I said, um, it's all about our mindset. We got to believe that that we can be that we can be in every single game. And when we have those moments where we need that big play, we can make it because we have the guys that can make those plays. And once we believe and keep believing and keep fighting, keep stressing that, that's that's when you know really that's really when things are going to change. Uh, we got to make sure that we just you know go to work every day, you know, with our head down, not really worry about the score, not worry about the records. We just got to play our type of football because, you know, when you, when you keep when you keep doing those things, you know, whether results come the way you want to or not, that's going to build a foundation uh, that's going to build build trust in your teammates, build trust in your brothers and, you know, build that chemistry to, to get you to the right places. CJ, we were just speaking to Sheldon a little while ago, uh, and he was talking about you as a calming influence amongst the chaos. That was the way he described things. I, I wonder what your relation to that is. And I have a follow-up question after that. Um, I, I like it. It sounds good. I, I, I definitely, I definitely try to stay poised for myself when I when we're in the game, especially in the heat of the moment. Um, because one, I gotta, I gotta talk to the whole defense, so I can't be going crazy and try to communicate with everybody. So uh, when we got time out breaks or um, coming off the sideline, you know, just mentally talking to myself, making sure I'm, you know, I'm upbeat and ready for the for the for the moment but you know talking to my teammates talking to the guys on the field you know just talking about the situation at the moment down the distance where we are on the field you know just little just little pieces to the game you know that just keeps you keeps you in the moment you know never getting too big for the moment you know when the pressure picks up when things get loud you know you look for the calmest per calmest person in the room because they're trained to do their job and you know we're trying to do our job and when know when those moments come you know you just gotta line up do your job and go make a play so speaking of your job, you, I mean, your tenure here has been unconventional, obviously. You got hurt so quickly after playing so well initially, and then obviously the opt-out for COVID. Uh, what, can you speak about what your goal is being here? I mean, how important is it to be a, a culture changer here and a change, a, you know, a changer to help change kind of, you know, a losing franchise into a winning franchise since you've come from that, you know, that atmosphere. And that's obviously why you were brought here. Yeah. Um, that's why I was brought here. That's why I want to come here. I want to be a part. I want to be a part of this organization. I want to be a piece in this organization that that changed that changed the culture. Um, like you said, of you know of, of a losing of a losing season, losing culture. You know, whatever however you want to put it. I wanted to be one of the reasons that things change. And uh, obviously, this is a team sport, and I can't do it by myself. Uh, and I honestly feel that you know the movement, the moves that we made this past season, um, the coaches, players, and all. Um, I feel that we we're moving in that in that direction. So um, I feel it's a I need to do my service of you know leading leading our team, you know leading the linebackers, leading the the young guys, and um and you know even with the coaches, you know the things you know talking to them and really figuring out what we want to do as a team, <clears throat> what we want to do every time we step on the field, what we want to see, the identity that we want to have. So just you know those small conversations, you know every day that we have with the coaches, every day that we have with the players. Um, I, I feel like we're we're definitely moving in the right direction, but um, we just have to make sure that that we don't let don't let a, a victory like this past weekend you know get to our heads because when you do the right things like you're supposed to win those games. So that's 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 the next step that we have that we have to get to. You know, after we win these games, we keep it going. We just don't be satisfied because we got a big win because it was we were supposed to win that game because we worked hard for it and you know we put in the right the right steps for it. So after you win that game, you got to keep going, keep going, keep going. So and that's what that what builds that what builds that real confidence in a in a great football team. Thanks, you. Take more.
We'll take a few more. CJ, that was the first time you you and Jared Davis actually played together in the regular season. Can you talk about uh, having him back? Yeah. The kind of chemistry you guys had together, and when you're together for a while, what kind of upside do you think you guys have as as a linebacking core? It was great. Um, you know, not not the honest, definitely not the takeaway from you know from our linebacker core that that's the rotation that that we've had. Um, everybody that stepped in. That's whether it's been injuries or, you know, earning their starting position. Everybody has definitely made, um, played their part. But, you know, when you have a, a veteran player like J.D. to come on the field, you know, have those extra set of eyes, have that voice for communication on the field, on the sideline, you know, it's, it's just refreshing. And um, it's, it's, it's honestly like a little weight off, off my shoulders. You know, I can, I can talk to him. Like if the, the play is if the game going fast, I need, you, I need him to talk to the D-line. You know, I'll talk to the DBs, you know, just for example, something like that. Um, he's he's been in, he's been in a lot of these situations as well. So you no, know, it's, it's just having a veteran player on the field is always an upbeat, uh, upbeat and a positive, you know, for our team and for the defense. And also, he's a leader. I um, mean, he might not have the seal on his chest, but you know, everybody knows, you know, you know what JD's, what he's about, uh, where his heart at, where his head is at. So you know, when he's when he's on the field, when he's talking to the group, you know, people listen, and um, you know, I listen too. So um, it's definitely uh, great to have him back on the field and healthy. Hey, CJ, it's Kim one more time. Thank you for doing this. Um, I understand your 24-hour role, but certainly you're familiar with Carson Wentz as a quarterback and as a competitor and, and as a guy who just might throw a ball up for grabs at a time or two. What's your take on uh, defending Wentz and, and your attitude, you know, kind of defensive quarterback to the quarterback when it's Carson Wentz on the other side? Um, well, you can take a little bit from this past game. You know, uh, the Bengals made up, make a lot of their plays off um, scramble plays um, and explosives. And, you know, Wentz does the same thing. He can, he's very elusive in the pocket, can break tackles. So we, we know we're going to have to keep him in the pocket and, you know, make him, and make, him make plays and, you know, carry the ball down the field and um, do our best to eliminate explosives. Um, knowing it's the NFL, things do happen. You know, they have good players as well. So just eliminate as close as much as possible and, you know, keep him in the pocket. And when he does, when he does get out, I'll make sure we plaster because, you know, two touchdowns they did have last week was off, you know, him Burrow getting out of the pocket and making the play. So that's going to be, that's definitely going to be um, a key, a key to victory for us.